What's up guys, it's Chief from Spreadshot Games. Gonna mix it up a little bit with this video. I got some friends and family with me. It's a couple days post Christmas. Went around, did a lot of game hunting, a lot of other kind of hunting. A lot of us collect different things, so we've all picked some stuff up. Hopefully this will be some new faces to this crew that'll help me out with footage and gameplay and stuff like that. A lot of these guys I play with online. These are my friends back home. So, as you guys know me, I'm Chief. This is... Clutch. He doesn't know how to introduce himself. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm Launch. How's it going? I'm just Jared. <laughs> this is just Jared. And I guess... I'll start stuff off with uh, some other some other games I've picked up through the past couple days. Um, a recent Xbox 360 game that I think a lot of collectors should be aware of is uh, Too Human. As you know, if anybody's heard game-wise, uh, Silicon Knights, the guys that developed this game, sued Epic, saying that the Unreal Engine 3 didn't work properly when they developed their game so they lost that suit and then Epic pretty much just said piss on you and countersued and they won their countersuit and as a result of the countersuit they had to take any on shelf Silicon Knights developed games collect them and destroy them so I would suggest if you found one of these you can't find them on shelves, I believe, anymore in professional, like, retail stores such as GameStop, uh, Kmart, Target, Walmart, stuff like that. Even if those game stores still have this game, uh, they won't, will not be able to sell it. This, and I believe it's X-Men Destiny, um, these games had to be destroyed as part of a court order. So, if you have it, hold on to it. If you don't, try to pick it up it's pretty cheap i picked up the game for four and the guide for five at a at a local store around here that was more of like a collector's store and not just like a like a retro uh game store trying to cash in on nostalgia and stuff it was definitely uh the guy was real cool i think what was the name of that store trading trading games, games. Trading, trading games uh i believe the guy has his own channel he has a really, really cool collection of games he actually showed me. Um, but I'll see if I can't find his actual channel. Uh, tag his channel in there and leave a, uh, leave a link to his channel um, to check out his collection or stuff about his store. I really want to plug his store because he's a really, really nice guy. Um, and if I can plug his channel, I'll try to find it and get it in there. But his, uh, his store actually has a website in which you guys can go and buy games boxes and stuff like that. He, he does a lot of stuff online. Yeah. So. so if anything you want to pick up, just uh, hit up his website with the store. And then also, like, a trade in games. I think this is all I picked up there. First off, I got this raunch-ass <laughs> WCW NWO No Revenge for 95 cents. Um, it looks like shit, but it should clean up nice. In this game, I remember playing it at my neighbor's house. It's a lot of fun. Uh, next, a game that my friend Xander Scullion and James Grusom mention a lot in Excess Gaming Podcast, uh, Clock Tower. They mention this all the time. I've never played one of these games. I found this one on PS2. It's Clock Tower 3. Uh, paid 8 bucks for it. I have no idea what to expect, if it's any good or not, but I figured I'd pick it up just because James and Xander talked about it so much. So, looking forward to getting into that. One of my favorite uh, video game series of all time uh, should be coming back. Time Splitters 2 on GameCube. Great game. Uh, pick up any of these games and they're great. Future Perfect, the third one, in my opinion, is my favorite. Uh, this is Time Splitters 2. It's still a lot of fun. You can still shoot a duck. <laughs> so pick it up because it's fucking great. Fucking duck. I'm going to play that here pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one I actually picked up. Uh, Diablo for PlayStation 1. It at, or actually, this isn't the last game I picked. I picked that whole shit ton of stuff up here. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, I got Diablo on PS1. It's actually, I got it, this game for only 13 bucks. Um, it is missing its back cover. It isn't a cracked jewel case. I can always replace the jewel case, and I can always try to find a scan um, of a back cover.
cover and see if I can, you know, replace it, put it together and make it look nice. Just on the front alone, if I put this up on a shelf, it looks good. And, like, as you guys know me so far, I like stuff that looks good on a shelf. So it displays well. This game is pretty expensive. Uh, local store around my house in North Carolina sells this game for 50 bucks. So I was really glad to pick that up. Also, while I was there, I picked up my very first TurboGrafx-16 game. Um, I know I showed one off, but I never had a Turbo Graphics game for it. I've played this game on NES, and it's uh, Dragon Spear, which is pretty much a top-down shooter game, kind of like Ikaruga, if you've ever played that, except you pretty much play as a dragon. And it has power-ups. You can get uh, different, like your dragon changes colors as you switch power-ups. And then you can get, I think that's like your different fire modes. And then you can get power-ups that give your dragons like, two heads, um, a big dragon with two mini dragons flying around you, kind of like with uh, Galaga, how you got like an extra ship sometimes and stuff. So I was actually going to trade that game just because I had never played it. I picked it up in a big lot at a yard sale, and it looked kind of like maybe a shitty RPG. But I watched a Let's Play video of it, thought it looked cool, played it. It's a lot of freaking fun. So if you find Dragon Spirit, I don't think it's a very expensive game. But I know how everybody says there's no good dragon games out there. And everybody says uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga is like the only good dragon game. This fucking game is fun. So if you can pick it up on NES, Turbo Graphics, whatever the hell they made it for, I'm not sure. Pick up Dragon Spear because it's damn fun. Um, there's also two alt fire modes in it where like you can shoot. It actually makes you shoot things in the air with your fire. And then you shoot like mortar bombs to hit stuff on the ground. So it adds a lot of strategy to it. Um, I thought it was great. So if you ever find Dragon Spear, pick it up because this is a great like 8-bit game. I mean, obviously if it's Turbo Graphics 16, it's 16-bit, but I haven't played it on that yet and see how better it looks. I got Ghostbusters 2, which supposedly this is a good Ghostbusters game. They, it's not that great. <laughs> it's better than the original, but but yeah, Seth's a big Ghostbusters enthusiast, so he probably know. But I heard I heard it's better than the other one. Uh, Mike Matei gave this game kind of praises. That's why I picked it up. Well, that's not. I don't think that's the one that he talks about. There's a different Ghostbusters 2 game that he talks about on SNES. Oh, really? It actually has the characters from the movie on the front of it. That's the one where you get to play as uh, fucking Bill Murray. Bill Murray. No, Rick Man has. His, you get to play as uh, what the hell's his Rick name? Rick Moranis. Yeah, but his character in the movie. Uh, he's the only one I don't know. <laughs> yeah, John Slur. That guy is the you can that's play it. as. Lewis, I think, is his name. Yeah. But that's actually a pretty good Ghostbusters game. That one's not bad, but it's not that great. All right, and then continuing with Slackers, I've actually found some pretty cool stuff from there, too. Like I said, Slackers pricing is very weird. Like, some things are real expensive. It seems like you, you'll you pay decent prices on something, but they're really hit or miss. You're either going to get really good deals on something, or you're going to get, like, ripped off. Um... But one game I figured that was a pretty good deal. I got Rocket Knight Adventures with the box and the game. No guide in this, I don't think. Nope. But the the cart's really good looking. The box is great. And I think I paid $8 for this game. $6. I might have even got this free because of buying the three, get one free. But uh, this game... Lost my damn power up card. Yeah, this game... <laughs> Looks freaking cool. I've watched a lot of le Let's Plays on it. It looks like one of the best games out on Genesis, to be it, honest. It's my favorite game on Genesis. Yeah. So. There's, a, there's a, like a PlayStation 4 version of it, too, isn't there? Like an HD version? A PlayStation 4? I think 4? so. PlayStation 3, whatever the fuck. <laughs> no, I got the 360 uh, oh, yeah. version of it. Yeah, but... I, I think it might be on the PSN as well. So. Okay. But, and then at this one, I also found another game that I was so glad to pick up. I picked it up twice in less than a week. Twisted Tales of Spike McFang, another $10 copy. Super glad to get it. Very, very rare game. Um, glad they're selling rare games for fucking cheap because I'll just keep buying them. <laughs> but I've already said what I had to say about this. Another weird thing, I found this game at one Slackers and it was priced for almost 20 and the one I went to today it was only priced for 8 So I picked it up, Magic Sword. Um, supposed to be a pretty good side-scrolling action game. Can't wait to play it, but it's supposed to be a decent game. And the $20 price on it kind of justified that. But then when I found it for 8 I definitely snatched it up. Uh, a game I've been looking for for a while. 
I paid 30 for it, Nosferatu. It's not in great condition. I think I can switch out the back to make it look better and clean up the sticker a little bit. But this looks like an awesome side scroller like beat 'em up game. You don't get any weapons, you just like punch people and stuff. <laughs> it's pretty much Castlevania if you didn't have weapons. But I'm done with it. punch the fuck out of vampire. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks really cool. It's a pretty obscure game. I don't think it's very easy to come across, especially in the wild. Um, this is the first time I've ever seen it in a store, but online I've followed them for a while, and the price I paid for it's pretty much the price I expected to get any time online. But uh, condition's not great, but I really did want to pick this game up just to play it. Another great game, rare game, that I've actually found that is pretty damn rare, and I know sought after by collectors that Slacker sold for pretty cheap, Zero Kamikaze Squirrel. I don't know much to say about this game other than, like, on forums and stuff like that. I know people, like, they pretty, they look for it. Uh, when I was at, what the hell's the name of that store? Play and Trade? Trading, trading game. Trading, trading games. Trading, trading, trading game. game. <laughs> Whatever. The guy there, he's a collector and stuff, and he was talking about, he's like, yeah, I heard Slackers, you can get, like, really rare games, like Zero Kamikaze Squirrel. I was like, yeah, I just bought the damn thing. So... <laughs> Um, it was definitely there, $25 for a game that normally goes way over that. Um, very, very happy to have it. I'll probably play it. It isn't one I've been looking to hold on to and stuff, so it might go up as trade bait later on. But for right now, I'm going to hold on to it. And the last game that even beats Zero Kamikaze Squirrel, in my opinion, that I actually got for cheaper than $25, which is what I paid for Zero Kamikaze Squirrel, um... This game is in crisp, crisp condition. Uh, the cart is, like, clean as crap. You guys think crap's pretty clean? No. I need it. I need <laughs> it. <laughs> but, uh, it looks great. Label's in great shape. I'll tell you, the cheapest one of these I could find on eBay, buy it now, is $65. I paid 16 bucks for this game, and that's incantation on Super Nintendo. Um, this game looks cool. It's kind of like a side-scroller action game um, where you might cast spells and crap. I haven't watched a lot of Let's Plays of it, but I knew this game was rare. Another game that I see on forums that people, you know, are very, very collector-wise is really sought after. It goes for a lot of money. It goes for it's a big trade. That, uh, you know, has a lot of weight in trades. $16 I paid for this game, and it is crisp as hell. Um, was super glad it's to nice get this. I mean, it looks great for a damn old game. Like, yeah. It looks fantastic. It's the cleanest like game I got out of shell. everything yeah. I bought. Yeah, it looks like someone just pulled this out of a box. 16 bucks for Incantation. Uh, super, super happy to have it. So, I'll probably make another video as my older brother has a crap ton of games that he's amassed over the years that he says I can put in my collection now because they're just sitting in his garage. Um, some of them aren't even his. He's going to talk to some friends and see if I can give him some money for it or if they'll just let me have them. It'll probably be when I get back to North Carolina if I make a video of that pickup. So, I'm just going to keep my fingers crossed, see what I get. Some of the shit's mine, so we better give it back to me anyway. <laughs> and... Uh, we'll see what happens with that, but hopefully uh, the, the mass of that lot's going to be a lot of PS2, GameCube stuff. Um, very, very classic titles from those systems, which I'll be more than happy to pick up. But uh, I wasn't the only one that went on this road trip today, so I guess we'll... Why are you good? You on? Show what you got. How about you go first? I mean, they can already see what you've amassed yeah, up here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you know, my brother here, he's a real big game collector, and uh, I like to play games a lot, too. But, I mean, mainly what I collect is uh, toys. I'm more of a toy collector. Mainly just Transformers. As you can see, i got quite a collection here of some shit. Um, one thing that Big Brother Chief got me for my 21st birthday, which was the day before Christmas, was a original vintage G1 Megatron. Don't um, bad, I got him a gun. It ain't got no down. orange tip. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's the cool thing about this is it actually doesn't have an orange tip on it which I thought was cool to get a vintage uh, Megatron with no orange tip. It's got some sticker wear on it, but I'll repro label it. But this guy looks really good, and I was glad I can get him. Only $60 for this guy, which is pretty cool. I did have to rebuy the scope, 
which is about 25 on its own, so I got a G1 Megatron complete for 85 bucks for an H bet, well, which isn't bad if you ask me. Um, while we were at Slackers, one thing that I picked up was this right here. I'm a real big fan of Devastator. Uh, I got a Toys R Us exclusive, um, most wanted Decepticons, G1 colored uh, Devastator, which it's, he's not that big, but I thought he looked cool, and he was cool colors. And uh, each construction vehicle has its own robot form, which I thought, you're probably getting some glare on that, maybe. I don't know. But um, he's still sealed in the box, still has all his bands on him and stuff like that. Thought it was cool, couldn't pass it up, so I got it. And uh, what I picked up today on our post-Christmas Day hunt, um, some of the stuff we got at Slackers, some stuff we got at a vintage toy store that me and Clutch here visit quite often. Yep. Um, the first thing I had to pick up, uh, for 90 bucks, I got him his G1 Grimlock. Real big fan of the Dinobots Grimlock in particular. He's really awesome. Super badass figure. Super badass character. Uh, I got him in robot form right now. That's how he came. But he's got pretty good stickers and pretty good joints. It's not too loose. He's a little jiggly in the neck area right here. But uh, what's really cool, I mean, he came with his tech specs and then his, I don't know if you can see or not, but his weapons and accessories came in the package that he was bundled in. Guy took 10 bucks off of him, so he was originally 100. I got him for 90 dollars. But um, with that, I also got a G2 Slag. Um, he came in pretty good condition, not too jiggly, good stickers. Um, I would have preferred to have a G1, but my only other option was to buy one for 50 bucks that came with no accessories. And the only thing this guy came with was an instruction booklet. I got him for 35 bucks, so I couldn't pass it up. And um, to finish that off, oddly we went to another Slackers and I actually picked up another Dinobot and I got G1 Sludge. And um, he's in good shape, tight uh, joints, stickers are good as far as I can tell. Uh, his eyeball stickers are missing so he's like blind right now, but I can probably just paint some on or something like that. And he came with an instruction manual, which is cool. And uh, I got his accessories too, his guns blades and stuff like that. No missiles, but I'm not worried about that. Uh, I buy from a guy on eBay, Wheeljack's Lab. He sells boxes. I'm pretty sure he has a box for each Dinobot here, so I can work on getting some boxes for these guys and finishing them off. So that's what I picked up today, and that was pretty awesome. Alright, I'll take him, right? <laughs> like Lunch said, we go to this toy store called the Neutral Zone. In fact, you might want to put the information on the description on this. I can do that. So, they, uh, because they have flat it's, rate shipping. It's a really good home. store. And uh, my favorite franchise is Star Wars. Love it. Always have since I was a kid. And so I got a little statue from my favorite scene, my favorite movie, Darth Vader. He's just sitting there. Luke, I'm your father. So just always been an inspiration to me. Always been my favorite franchise. He's it's your favorite movie. You fucked up the quote. No, I am your father. He says, Luke, I am your father. I thought... Throw that in there. Uh, Throw it in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I know the Star misconception. Wars. Because that's the Tommy Boy thing. He's like, Luke, I am your father. And he's just like... Yeah. Is it? He's like, Obi-Wan killed... And he goes, no... I am your father. I know Star Wars. I'm pretty sure he says, no, I am your father. He says, Luke, I am your father. All right. Throw it in there. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> you like, decide. Like, what the fucking movie decide? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like, comment, subscribe. Top comment. Uh, Luke, I am your father. No, I am your father. Uh, which one's real? Uh, anyway. Anyway, we at this uh, train games, I got also fan video games myself uh love zelda so i got zelda the probable collector's edition uh the box is in rough a little bit rough shape but i'm not too worried about that i'm pretty much mostly gonna be playing it cds in great shape comes with the guides and uh the card promos in there so just a great find not a bad price for it it's yeah. It's, it's it 40, is. about as cheap as you're going to find one right now. And you, you're probably looking at that game's going to be 35 and up. Yeah. So. What'd you get, Jared? I didn't get dick. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, we 
we got Jared here with us. Um, well, Chief's either busy with school or work or whatever, um, and I'm not doing shit. <laughs> Other than trying to find a job. Um, me and Jared, he's in town every weekend, so we went to college together, high school together. Um, I'm working on getting some capturing footage myself, maybe getting a snowball mic and a capture card, so we can do Let's Plays. We'll do uh, be doing videos. I think the first game that we're wanting to play together is Donkey Kong Country 2. So, I mean... We're not really trying to complete a game or maybe do a Let's Play. It's just kind of, we just want to play games and have fun. And I know definitely it's kind of already been done before with shows like Game Grumps and Continue and stuff like that. But we're not really aiming to copy them. We're just kind of maybe just trying to play games and express the way we like them and have fun and make a couple of jokes and kick ass. So, <laughs> also, Clutch here will be probably, uh, playing some games with us, too, depending on definitely. Uh, who's available and what games we got. So be looking forward to some content from us, uh, commentary, and just playing games. So that's what the channel's all about, spending money and playing games. <laughs> mainly, <laughs> spend seems like money. mainly spending money. Exactly. Yeah, I I mean, we got a I lot spent, of stuff. I spent $175 on fucking Dinobots today. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm always open to, you know, possibly getting other stuff up getting the content on the channel and stuff like that. Maybe, you know, if, if they don't give them my channel, maybe they'll start their own channel. But I think right now, maybe we're just going to, like, throw everything on Spreadshot. Um, it'd be nice to get more content flowing for you guys. Um, like I said, I never really look for like, comments, subscriptions. Uh, I don't even really give a shit about views that much. It's all about, um, for everybody that doesn't subscribe to me, or like a video, and by like I mean click the like button. You might like it and not click the like button. Um, I really don't care. I've really found, you know, I've started this at the beginning of October. For every person that I think might pass me up, you know, I don't need 100,000 subscribers or even 2,000 subscribers. Um, for the small amount of people that watch my videos and leave comments and stuff like that and positive or, you know, constructive criticism and stuff, is great, and I really want to throw out, you know, the, the year coming to an end, even though I just started in October, um, you know, Xander Scullion from Excess Gaming Podcast, great guy, I met him in the game store, um, you know, he was starting to get his podcast up off the ground about the same time I decided to actually make my channel, you know, he's been uh, great help, uh, great positive influence and stuff like that, it's really good to have him around, um, John from Scuba Diver Picker, it's really great to have him around, you know, he comments and watches a lot of my videos. Um, great to have around, you know. Okay, Chief 420 I know he's watched a couple of my things and left some comments. He's a really great guy. His videos are really cool. He's really enthusiastic about game collecting and just, um, you can tell he's really having a good time doing what he's doing. And, uh, you know, Chief, kind of think I stole your name a little bit. Um, mine's just a little joke from the past that I decided to call myself. I call myself, like, three different damn names on this channel. You know, Born Stellar is my gamer tag, Tyler is my real name, and Chief's just some bullshit name I made up for YouTube a long time ago. So, uh... Chief Auto Parts. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> But, his channel's great. Um, Ken16bit, a guy I met recently. You know, that... This guy, he's the, he's the main reason that I really made a YouTube channel was to go out... Try to find fellow collectors that have a similar interest in stuff I do. And just shoot the shit, talk about games, possibly make some trades and stuff. Um, he's a really cool guy. I think he's from somewhere around where we're from. I mean, we're in, you know, Alton, or not Alton, Illinois right now. I was born in Alton, Illinois. <laughs> but we're in Illinois right now, you know, south southwest end, sort of about 40 minutes away from St. Louis. Um, I think he's from Illinois, but he's a St. Louis Blues fan. I'm a huge hockey fan, as you can tell. You probably can't see my shirt, but I got a St. Louis Blues shirt on. Um, you know, he's a St. Louis Blues fan. He's a SNES collector. Uh, that's why I made this channel, was to get in touch with just, you know, one or a couple people that are really, really genuine and cool um, to talk about gaming, share your enthusiasm and stuff like that. So, you know, drawn to, you know, the end of the year and holidays and stuff like that, being with friends and family... Um, it's nice to have a cool, you know, close, tight-knit community that you can just talk about games with your hobbies and stuff and have friends that like to do the same stuff, willing to help you out with content or just playing online, playing, you know, split-screen stuff at home. It's really awesome. Uh, to the guys I just mentioned and anybody else out there, 
Um, I know there's been a, quite a couple people that have left, you know, uh, comments on my videos and stuff like that and gave me really positive feedback. I really, really want to thank you guys, even though I left you out um, all, you know, 34 subscribers, whatever the hell I have now. But, um, you know, every view, every comment, I really appreciate. Um, but to me, you know, YouTube's not a popularity contest. Um, I'll never cut anybody down. And say you know you shouldn't make videos if you're not gonna do you know high production value you know some people say stuff like that if you're just gonna videotape the television you shouldn't make uh, you know let's plays because it looks like shit which I agree with it looks you know it's crappy quality but if you like if you're a game enthusiast and that's your last you know ability to make a let's play you know nobody owns the damn internet if that's what you want to do that's what you're gonna do um, have fun with it it's your own it's your own games do what? Al Gore. Al Gore owns the internet. Al Gore owns the internet. Okay, Al Gore owns the internet, but he doesn't care if you videotape. He's you, trying to kill you me watch it. It's all kind of play guys. I'm super serial. I'm super serial. <laughs> but, but if that's you know if that's what you want to do, you know just make just make fucking any video you want. You don't have to be super popular. You don't have to ask for permission from subscribers of what they want to see. Make what the hell you want to make. Talk about games. You know if you if you're enthusiastic about it get out there find some other people that share your enthusiasm and just you know make a video about goldar keep uh, Red Ranger. <laughs> and just keep fucking gaming because that's what we all like to do so see you guys later i'm chief i'm out and by the way it is no i am your father did <laughs> you just, look it up no i was just shooting shit with you <laughs> oh you fucking ass <laughs> we can cut that out <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Happy New Year!